the other day I was just having my usual morning walk, and then I suddenly have this idea about like unexpected life choices that made me who I am today. That I want to talk about. I did not script this video. I do not know whether this improv thing will lead me to, but let's see. Anyway, as a very anxious person, I like to really plan my day and take full control as much as I can. I know that there is no such thing as, as full control, but just stick with me. But then it dawned on me how most things turn out to be unplanned, no matter how much I like to seek control. Because there is only so much under your control, as the Stoicism concept always say, you want to focus on what you can control and try to manage what you can influence and then just let go of what you can't. I vividly remember, six years ago, one day I decided to not go to work and then I found myself in a literal war zone. That decision led me to quitting my accounting career and go for music therapy. Of course there are many other factors, but that was the big turning point. I did not really expect that to happen, but it did, and it changed my life. And I feel like life is just as fluctuating as our personality. There's a book called Personality is Not Permanent by Dr. Benjamin Hardy. I really like that book. He was saying that you can change as the situation demands, like you don't need to label yourself as like a I'm an INFJ or whatever. And I felt like it really showed in my life in the last six or seven years. I did not expect myself to get involved in politics or social unrest things, but I did. And I did not expect myself to really go from a couch potato to working out almost every single day. And I also changed from a night owl to an early bird. A lot has changed. And that showed that my personality and my lifestyle and my habits are actually very fluid. And I always have a future self in mind that I work towards. And that means that my personality will change based on whatever that version of myself would be. And I think it's a good thing because I always want to change and improve, right? You don't want to stay in the same position 10 years later, I guess. And that also led me to thinking our identities are actually very flexible as well. I was an accountant and now I'm a music therapist. I used to have just a certain type of skills, but then I can learn and build new skills. And I used to think and speak one language, but then now I do different languages. We are very flexible. Of course, if you have like a certain goal to work towards, then you do have to plan for that. You need to know what's the path to get there. But who I am today is not something that I actually can plan. Six years ago, I wrote in my journal entry that I just want to make music 24 seven. I don't know what music therapy is back then, but then I actually made it happen. I didn't know the path, but then I kind of have like a vision in mind. And then I was able to change my identity and change my whole life. Yeah, this is very surprising. Sometimes I imagine if I meet my past self like six, seven years ago, she would never believe in what I'm doing now. It's mind blowing. And I do look forward to five, six years later, what I will tell myself right now. I think what I'm really trying to say is life is very unpredictable. That's why I cannot really plan long term. Long term means two to three years ahead. I don't know where I will be. I don't know if I will still be a music therapist, but that's okay. Because in the past, I have learned new skills and pivot, and I know that I can do it again. And I will keep embracing this uncertainty mindset, knowing that it is okay. And one principle that I am going to hold on to is that I will always think about my future self. That gives me a sense of direction. I might not know the path yet, but I will try different ways to see if I can become that version of myself. But always keep an open mind that I can always change. And there are multiple paths to get there. Yeah, just keep an open mind, embrace spontaneity, and just improvise, like what I do at work all the time. Because uncertainty is the only certain thing in life. I don't know if this video actually helps anyone, but this is something that I need to hear as someone who is very anxious and who wants to seek control of everything. Yeah, most things turn out to be unplanned anyway, so just be more open and just improvise. I'll be alright, nothing is really life-threatening, I guess. If you watch until this point, thank you. Please also check out all my other videos here about personal development stuff. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.